Hello everyone, Kader AK is here and today I'm going to show you how I built an electronic microscope using an old photo enlarger, a camera lens, a CCTV camera and a VGA converter. And of course, we'll be doing some soldering and printing a couple of custom parts on a 3D printer. I wanted a microscope for soldering for a while, but couldn't find a good option that wasn't too expensive. After watching a few reviews of cheap and not so cheap Chinese digital microscopes, I realized that most of them have pretty much similar issues with lag and a blurry image while moving. I wasn't sure how much this would bother me while soldering, but I decided to trust the reviews and steer clear of the cheap microscopes. Then I looked at the prices of high-end microscopes and realized that they weren't an option for me, especially given my not-so-great soldering skills. That's when I came across a few videos about making microscopes using a CCTV camera and an old photo enlargers. After some research I realized that this was the perfect option for me in terms of both cost and quality. As it turned out, all I needed to buy was a CCD sensor module, Sony EFIA is highly recommended for this, and an S video to VGA converter. I had everything else. I found an old Leningrad 2 photo enlarger in the attic, and my old Zenit camera reluctantly shared its lens. Everything else could be assembled and printed on a 3D printer. First, I studied the photo enlarger and figured out which parts I needed to 3D print. I had to make an adapter to fit the camera lens to the enlarger, M42 to M39, a housing for the CCD sensor module with control buttons, and a cover for the top, which would hold the S-Video to VGA converter and DC in. I designed all the parts in Tinkercad. For the lens adapter I was using an M42 thread model from Thingiverse as a base, though I don't remember exactly which one. I then printed everything with my 3D printer and after a few iterations I got parts that fit almost perfectly, though I had to give them a few taps with a hammer. Next I needed to solder the OCD keypad for the CCD module. I had a bunch of small push button switches and a one layer PCB. After searching the internet I finally found the pinout for the OCD compatible with my module. I used an Ethernet cable I had lying around. It is a bit stiff and doesn't bend well, but it works for this purpose. I wrapped the cable in heat shrink tubing to make it look more professional and then tested its functionality with a multimeter. Next, I made a 5 volt DC out for the S-Video to VGA converter. The CCD module runs on 12 volts, while the VGA converter runs on 5 volts. So I used the same one layer PCB, a voltage regulator LM7805, capacitors, DC in out connectors and an S-Video cable. After soldering it all together, it was ready to go. Now it was time to put everything inside the photo enlarger and connect all the components. I removed unnecessary parts from the enlarger and screwed the camera lens in place using the 3D printed adapter. I placed the OCD keypad in the housing and secured it to the part that holds the CCD module. Two screws were more than enough. Before attaching the cover I had to solder the connectors for the OCD keypad as the hole in the cover was sized for the cable only. Next, I installed the CCD sensor module and securely attached it to the housing. I mounted the VGA converter 
to the cover using zip ties through the holes in the cover, trimming off the excess. Now it was time to install the CCD sensor module housing, which fits snugly due to the further and larger geometry. Finally, I attached the top cover with the S-Video to VGA converter, connected the module's cables, DC connectors and the S-Video cable to the converter. I secured the cover with two bolts that came with the photo and larger. I plugged in the monitor cable and power supply. And it was good to go. For this testing I was using Arduino Mega to check the image quality and zoom capabilities. Also tested the OCD keypad and played around with the settings. The head of the photo enlarger moves vertically, allowing us to adjust the height as needed. Fine tuning is done using the camera lens. For the best image quality use daylight mode and manually adjust the brightness and contrast. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please support me with a like and subscribe. It is a small thing for you but motivates me to keep making new projects. You can find additional information and files for this project on my GitHub. See you next time!